You might have read somewhere or heard from someone that Romania is the Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe. And yes, you've heard it right. The whole association with Silicon Valley started because of the second largest city in Romania, Cluj-Napoca. Cluj is the main tech hub of the country. Will you find New York-style skyscrapers in Cluj? Nope. But that's true for Silicon Valley too, isn't it? Instead, there are old town-style structures that would make you think you're in the cultural centers of Germany or France. To contrast that though, big cities like Cluj have also adopted the IT-style architecture, if you will. Glassy buildings, tall offices, and minimalist buildings with clean facades. There's a little bit of everything. But the tech revolution is so huge that the market value of just Cluj's IT sector is estimated at over $1 billion. On top of that, there are around 1,400 IT firms in Cluj, small, medium, and enterprise level. But how did Romania manage to do that? I'd like to take you back to Romanian tech history. Romania's past under communism left a bitter taste in the mouths of its citizens, but the anti-communist revolution of 1989 brought a new sense of hope and optimism for the future. After the revolution, Romanians were eager to build a better life for themselves and their families. In the late 1990s, Cluj had already established itself as a hub for IT innovation. The city was home to pioneering IT professionals, who, in addition to fixing software bugs, were often called upon by their neighbors to repair everything from televisions to mobile phones. These IT pioneers laid the groundwork for the thriving tech industry that exists in Cluj today. We'll talk more about Cluj later in the video. According to a report by the Romanian Ministry of Communications and Information Society, the number of IT professionals in Romania has grown by 14% annually since 2010. Today, over 120,000 IT professionals are working in the country, with an average salary of around 2,500 euros per month, significantly higher than the national average. One example of a successful Romanian IT company is UiPath, which was founded in 2005 by Daniel Dines and Marius Tirka. The company specializes in robotic process automation software, which helps businesses automate repetitive tasks. UiPath has experienced rapid growth in recent years, with revenue increasing from $150 million in 2018 to $600 million in 2021. The company now has over 8,000 employees worldwide, with a significant presence in Romania. Another success story is that of SoftVision, a software development company founded by Lorenzo Russo. The company has grown to over 3,000 employees and has offices in several countries, including Romania, the United States, and Canada. SoftVision specializes in developing custom software solutions for a variety of industries, including healthcare, finance, and retail. These IT hubs were just the beginning of something big, as Romania also invested in other sectors that significantly contributed to its IT development. Romania's progress in the tech sector can be attributed in part to the country's proficiency in English, a crucial skill in today's interconnected world. According to a study by EF, Education First in 2019, Romania ranked 16th globally for English proficiency among non-native speakers, earning a classification of high proficiency and positioning itself as the top English-speaking country in Eastern Europe. This proficiency in English has been linked to the level of research and development in the country, with higher English proficiency correlating with a greater number of researchers per million people. Despite some conflicting data, such as Eurostat's 2016 findings that around 36% of Romanians knew one or more foreign languages, the importance of English proficiency in Romania cannot be understated. In Romania, the distribution of English proficiency varies significantly depending on the region. Major cities like Bucharest, Cluj-Napoca, Iași, Timisoara and Brasov boast a population where a majority have at least some knowledge of English, particularly among individuals under 55 to 60 years old who tend to have better or advanced English skills. On the other hand, smaller cities, urbanized villages, and rural areas may have lower English proficiency levels, but these areas also lack the presence of major companies, creating a balance in the overall landscape of English language usage in the country. Another significant factor contributing to Romania's tech progress is the impressive tech hub itself, particularly exemplified by Cluj-Napoca, the country's second largest city and the unofficial capital of Transylvania, which has earned the moniker of the Silicon Valley of Romania. Cluj-Napoca stands out as the largest IT hub in Romania, attracting multinational tech and service companies alongside numerous successful Romanian businesses. 
For instance, the city hosts NTT Data, a global IT innovator based in Tokyo, and Arabs, a Romanian IT company valued at approximately $31 million with around 600 employees. In a fascinating twist, Cluj-Napoca is home to Airport Labs, a local IT product development company that tracks flights from Dubai in real time. With offices in Dubai and London, Airport Labs, with a fiscal value of about $3 million and around 50 employees, provides innovative software solutions for major airports like Heathrow Airport in the UK. Moreover, Cluj-Napoca boasts the presence of Bitdefender, a Romanian cybersecurity technology leader renowned for Bitdefender antivirus, recognized as one of the best in the world. The city's continuous growth and influx of talent have attracted a multitude of global brands to establish their presence, including Endava, Bosch, Emerson, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, IBM, HP, Porsche, and many more. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Perhaps another big reason for Romania's progress in the tech sector is its multilingualism. Cluj is home to the prestigious Universitata Babes Bolai, or UBB, which has a faculty of IT and mathematics and a faculty of letters that focuses on modern languages and is ranked among the top 100 to 150 language faculties globally. Cluj is a thriving hub for university students, with over 90,000 students in 2020, including 6,000 international students. The city boasts a high percentage of university graduates, with 25% of its residents having a university degree, not counting the many people who've moved to Cluj from other cities. The Faculty of Letters at UBB has approximately 3,300 students learning IT, and the city has a larger number of IT students when considering other universities that offer IT programs. Additionally, around 3,000 students are learning modern languages at UBB, including English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Romania's education system places a strong emphasis on foreign languages, with English being mandatory from primary school and a second language becoming a requirement from secondary education. In 2020, Romania was the top European country where high school students were learning at least two foreign languages. But that's not all. Now you might not believe it, but Romanians are good listeners, and that's another reason for their tech boost. Complaining is a unique national pastime in Romania that serves as a unifying force, fostering strong listening skills amongst its people. This cultural trait has inadvertently honed the essential skill of attentive listening, a valuable asset in professions like customer service, tech support, and any role involving customer interaction. Moving ahead, Romanians are known for being clever problem solvers. They have a saying, if they kick you out the door, climb in through the window which shows our never-give-up attitude. For the past 30 years, it has focused on IT, and it's paying off. In 2020, one in four Romanians worked for big international companies, mostly in Germany, France, or Italy. Right now, Cluj is the hotspot for business, but other Romanian cities could easily become tech hubs too. While Romania's progress in the tech sector has been remarkable, the country still faces several challenges that need to be addressed to ensure further growth. One of the most pressing issues is corruption, which has been a persistent problem in Romania's political landscape. The National Anti-Corruption Directorate, Romania's main anti-corruption agency, has had mixed results in tackling corruption, and the country's political instability hasn't helped the situation at all. Another challenge that Romania faces is the unequal distribution of resources and opportunities. For example, the pensions for a large and vulnerable category of people are kept at a very low level, while people who were employees of the army, police, the former communist securitate, diplomats, judges, and prosecutors, around 160,000 people have significantly higher so-called special pensions. In the education sector, Romania has made significant progress in aligning itself with European and international trends, but the implementation of the Bologna Process Action Lines has been challenging due to numerous amendments to the national law on education. The country is also redesigning the strategy for the allocation of European structural funds for 2021 to 2027, which highlights the reform and investment priorities at a national level. So, while Romania has made significant progress in the tech sector, the country still faces several challenges that need to be addressed to ensure further growth. These challenges include corruption, political instability, unequal distribution of resources and opportunities, 
and the need to align the education system with European and international trends. By addressing these challenges, Romania can continue to progress and become a significant player in the global tech industry. So what are your thoughts? Do let me know in the comment section below. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you want to know about a new Russian map and its impact on Romania, watch our video.